Hey guys, let's get rolling. I want you to make sure you clear out space around you, and I just want you to get your arms and start going just like this, back and forth. Make sure I see everybody on the screen doing it. Good, switch into jumping jacks now. Make sure you focus on your hands coming all the way over your head and back down. So hands all the way over the head and back down, and try to time it to where these things happen together. Hudson, you look great. Ryan, good job. Meadows, hey Griffin, Tyler, good job. Now, switch it to running in place now. So switch it to running in place. Hope you guys are having fun at home and you can break up schoolwork and hang out with us a little bit. The idea here is to hang out with us, get this done, and then get back to work after on your school stuff. Go ahead, now what I want you to do is stop right there for me. If you have your belt, take it off, and I want you to lay it down across in front of you. So lay the belt down in front of you in a straight line, and we're going to use it for some drilling right now. Once it's all the way out, Coach Rebecca and Coach Mark are going to show you, you're basically just going to start working explosions, popping forwards and backwards. Go for it. Forwards and backwards over that belt. A line will work too if you don't have your belt. Good job, Joshua. Austin, nice work. I like the scenery. Michaela, good job, girl. Good, stop. Now, I want you to switch it to where you're side to side of it. But look, a lot of you are doing this. You're going and you, your arms flail. You want to kind of think stance, think arms. Keep your hands in just like this as you hop over and keep your upper body stable. Go. Right now you can see Coach Rebecca is two times, maybe 2.3 times as fast as Coach Mark. It's killing him inside, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. It's not going to be a chance, right Rebecca? Good, keep it moving nice and fast and stop. Now what I want you to do is one foot over, one foot behind, and you're going to focus on switching fast. Almost like you're running in place, but you're not bending your knees. You're switching fast and moving your arms and working explosions. Go. Good. Keep those, uh, the footwork is everything. The footwork's got to be fast. So try to make your feet just barely touch and switch. Barely touch and switch as quick as you can. Jacob Dukes, good job, buddy. King family, y'all are looking right. Ryan, I like it. Keep it moving, dude. I'm watching you. Langer, good job. Parents, don't be shy. You can do this too if you want. Go ahead and freeze. Good. Real quick, just get in a stance. If you want to use your belt just to measure your stance, that's fine. One foot over, one foot back. And I just want you to work on jab, high punches now. And I'm, I'm watching. I can't see all of your feet, but you need to be aware of this. I want you to pivot. I want you to pivot. If you're not pivoting and turning the hips, it's all wrong to me. Work jab, high punches now. Go. I'm going to step away, and I'm going to be watching on the screen. So I am watching you right now. Ross, big turn. Don't pull it back too quick. Tyler, you're not pivoting. I can see your foot. Jaden, good job. Way to turn. Heavy hitting is better. Hey, Michael. Reach all the way out on your punches. Michael Loudermilk, all the way. There you go, dude. Michael Meadows, hard punches, dude. Griffin, good. Time. Switch sides. Oliver, what's up, buddy? Switch sides now on the other side. Hands up, same thing. Go for it. Reach all the way out, Hudson. Not small punches, big punches. If you watch Coach Mark, you can see how far he reaches out. You want to be watching how far you're reaching out. Austin, good, good. Michaela, I love it. Logan, is that you next to Michaela? There you go, quit messing. Good, time. Stop, take the arms and rotate them around a little bit for me. We're going to work on swing kicks, round kicks, and side kicks. We're going to work on hip flexibility. So i got a drill for you right now. It's called pancake round kicks. Pancake round kicks. So stop right there. What you're going to do is this. I want you to hop on your belly for me like this. You might have to look for a second before you do. Some of you are going to disappear off the screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my leg up to the side like this off the ground. And I'm going to throw a round kick, bring it back, and set it down. And I'm going to switch. I'm going to pull my leg up, throw a round kick, bring it back, and set it down. And this is going to loosen up your hips and get you a lot more mobile. Go ahead and start working that. So you're on your belly. The leg comes up to the side and it comes off the mat. The round kick goes straight out and back and back down. Eva, that's very good. Try to get it as much to the side as you can, Tyler Langer. 
As much to the side as you can and don't stop. Knee comes up. Keep the knee up. You want to try to be as flexible as you can here. Really bring the leg up. Hey, Chloe. Good, time. So that's pancake round kick. Y'all can jump back up for me. What I want you to do now is I want you to go ahead and get your chair. So if you've got a chair, a sofa, an ottoman, whatever, you can hold on to rails on the stairs if you need to. You just need something that's stable. Don't hold on to the lamp and don't hold on to yourself. You'll be right here. You're going to put one leg on the chair and you're going to pick your other leg up and you're going to work round kicks. I'll tell you what, Coach Rebecca is much better at this than me. So you're here, she's gonna pick her leg up, and look, this is the most important piece. When I'm watching you on the screen, I'm gonna disappear, I'm gonna go to the screen, I'm gonna watch you. I wanna see your knee pointing at the mirror, or excuse me, at the camera. So I'm looking at you, I should see a knee. And from here, her hips are open, she's gonna throw the round kick, and try to leave it out there, and then bring it back. You don't have to go fast, so I don't wanna see this. I wanna see where you're picking your leg up, kicking out slow and control, and bringing it back. Go ahead and get to work, thank you. Control it. Hands stay up. Hands stay up. You keep good posture. Knee stays up high. Breathe and hold. Matthew McFarland, good job. Read, good. Read, point your toes like a round kick. Point your toes. Good, Jaden. Try not to move around too much, though. Try to keep your body real still. Michael, that's good, buddy. Knee up. Good, time. So this is going to be a uh, this, is, this is going to get um this is going to get tiring of your life. You're going to be real sore. Maybe what we can do is alternate your view to uh, one and then the other. Just so I don't know if Coach Mark. Okay. So here's what we got, you guys. Watch in here. Now you're going to switch it up from a round kick, and you're going to go to a side kick. Okay. So now you're going to switch it from a round kick to a side kick, and you're going to work pumping the leg in and out. And I want you to keep that posture up. Pump your side kicks back and forth. It doesn't have to be fast. Go. Try to push your foot at the target. So see where you're hitting, wherever that is. I want to see it going almost in the same spot every single time. The same spot every single time. Bring that knee back and forth. Good, stop. Put your foot down and rest for a second. One thing that I'm seeing a lot of a warrior chair is y'all get going and then you start doing this thing where you're pulling away from it. You want to turn your body, but you just want to turn here. So where I'm kicking, I'm turning, but my body stays upright. My body stays upright. Posture's everything, and a lot of you are calling on posture. One thing we can focus on, because we can see it easy on the screen, is your body and how it's moving. I want you to get it under control. So now you're gonna switch to the next kick. You're gonna work swing kicks. So she's gonna chain her up just like a side kick, and she's gonna kick out, and if I'm here, she'll kick out and go over my head, and then the knee bends when it crosses the center line. So if the camera's right here, I'm in this position. She chambers, she kicks. When she gets to the center line here, the knee collapses and it opens up. And that's your swing kick. So now work that and work swinging it through. Go. You do not have to be fast here. Good. Keep it up high. Chloe, great job. Swing it all the way through. Good, Oliver. Keep that posture up. Kinley, you probably got the best one in here right now. That's awesome. Use that chair. Anna King, good job. Come on, Langer. There you go. Good, so time. Uh, I just saw Tyler Langer. I think you kicked over a, something in front of you, right? Was that you? Yeah? If you can. What would be really cool is if you could find things, don't find expensive things, don't find super hard things, but find things that you can use as a measuring stick towards kicking over. And see if you can build up that kick by keeping it stable. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these three together into a swing kick, round kick, side kick. And that's gonna lead us to our challenge. So what you're gonna do now is this. Coach Rebecca's up, she's gonna throw a swing kick, she's gonna collapse, she's gonna come back out with a round kick, 
and then she's gonna pull the knee back for a side bend. Hold on to the chair, but try not to push all your weight on the chair. Try to use the back leg as balance. Practice swing kick, round kick, side kicks now. Go. Michael Meadows, great job. Keep that balance, Wilcox, I'm watching you. Knee up, keep the knee up. Try to keep the knee up as much as you can. Try to keep your knee up high. If you watch Coach Rebecca's knee, that knee never goes down below her waist. So if you feel like you're looking at it and it's going down, you wanna try to pull the knee up. That's training your hip and your butt muscles to keep that kick in the zone. So keep that knee up. You guys got five more seconds, don't stop. Push it, five, come on, four, Good Griffin. Three, two, one. Time. Good. Go ahead and relax and take those legs out. Your legs should be baked right now. I want you to get all the way down in the Chinese split, as low as you can now. And I want to see who's got the best split. If you can be Coach Rebecca, then I'll bring you up here and you can be on my video next time. Get nice and low. Michaela, great stretch. Michael, you're getting a lot lower, buddy. Oliver, good job. Eva, wonderful. Jaden, getting low. Blanger, I love it. Jacob Dukes, nice work. Look at this. Should I zoom in on it? That's awesome. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You got 10 more seconds. Every time I say a number, I want you to try to get lower. I want you to get closer to the ground. 10, push yourself. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, low. I should see a lot of little painful faces. Oliver, I see the pain. Matthew, I see the pain. Kenley, don't look painful enough. <laughs> Hudson, painful. Three, two, one, good, jump up. Nice job, Ryan. All right. You guys okay? By the way, this is their third class today, and they still have another one after this for black belt prep. All right, so real quick, we're gonna switch it from your lower body, which we've been training, to your upper body. So we have three levels of push-ups. I want you to work all three levels because they actually work different parts of the muscle. So level one push-up is where the hands are on the chair or they're on one of your ottomans, but something that is off of the ground or elevated. So go ahead and get in that position now and hold yourself. Let me see everybody flatten out. Keep the belly button tight, arms out straight, Malay's ready to roll. Find something, good. Now, I want you to start doing push-ups. You have five at this spot, five, go. Good, don't be afraid to get that chest down to it. Don't be afraid to get that chest down to it. Hodges, what are you doing? Joshua, do your push-ups. Think I can't see you? That's why I got these big old TVs up here. Michael, push up. Good, stop. Now, level two will be flat on the ground. So level two, I'm just in a normal position. Go ahead and get in your push up. And I'm going to get here. And I'm going to go down to the ground and push straight back up. You have five level two push ups. So now you know if I say level one, level two, Get down to those ground, good, Jaden. Five good ones. When you're done, stand back up and shake your arms out a little bit for me. And then we're gonna go into level three and then we'll do the level five if you guys can get there. Give you a little challenge on level five. So now, level three is where you're at a decline. So now you're gonna get your feet up. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, get your feet up and just work on holding yourself. You can just stand still the whole time I talk. But I want you to hold yourself in a plain position as long as you can. If you're feeling strong, Coach Mark usually is, once you're in this position then, I want you to start trying to go down low and slow and then explode back up. So he goes down low and slow and he explodes back up. Would you guys like to see me sit on his back and see if he can do it? Low and slow and then he explodes back up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have fun too. Alright, jump back up. Yes, sir. Don't sit on anybody's back, okay? We were just kind of kidding about that. All right, so now here's what you got. On, uh, on, your, um, on your devices, if you guys will, and you will text me this combination, 
We're going to add to it over the next couple days. But you are going to practice a slide up, swing kick, round kick, side kick, and lane. Again, right now, you'll practice a slide up, swing kick, round kick, side kick, and lane. You're going to text me that. Or tag us on social media, whichever you want. But if you'll text it to me, then I'm going to work on getting back with you on things that you can work on this. So, right now, practice sliding swing kick, round kick, side kick. Go for it. Coach Brian's going to put my phone number on this so you can text me. It's 678-230-7509. So on the chat message here, my cell phone number's there. Don't bother me with a bunch of crazy stuff, but I do want to see your kick sequence. The swing kick, round kick, side kick. We are going to be doing things and giving out awards too on this. So I do want to see who's got the best. Kenley, beautiful. Keep it up, just a couple more seconds, and stop. So that is your assignment. You are doing a swing kick, round kick, side kick, and then send it to me. I wanna see it. Real quick though, before we close up, if you need any stripes, uh, if you need form stripe, I want you to text it to me too. We're gonna do our best to grade you over the phone. I will probably reach back out to some of y'all via FaceTime to coach you on things too or I'll send you a video back explaining what I want you to work on. I want you to do multiple takes though. So if you record yourself and you don't like the way you look, do it again. I want you to get it just right and then send it to me. Let me look at it and then I'm gonna respond back and comment back on what you can do and how you can fix it. That way we keep the coaching line going. Parents, please feel free to reach out to me on my cell phone during this time. We wanna stay as connected as possible to you. You're never bothering us. We want to be able to make sure we're not just providing classes, but we're providing coaching too. Uh, you guys were awesome today. A quick coach's challenge, kids challenge. If you think you got it, Coach Mark will show you. A level five push up. It could even be a level five and a half or level six. We're not really sure what level four is, so we can't possibly know what level five is. But you'll find a wall, you'll go up to the wall like this. And you will go down, and you will push right back up just like this. Now I've taught him this, everything he knows. So if you want to be awesome like that, you better keep taking my classes. You guys are awesome. Val, so thank you, coaches. Say you. All right, can you unmute me?